Apple joins the crowd of companies reportedly wanting to compete with Snapchat. LGV20 rumors detail the proximity it will have to the launch of the Nexus. And now we've got some rumors that the iPhone 7 features are getting pushed to 2017. I'm Jaime Rivera. We will be heading out to Berlin on Monday. Uh, it's going to be really hard to run this show from there, but you know I will give it a try. And if not, we've got a ton of coverage that's coming from that event. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals to a certain degree as Sprint continues to up the ante in unlimited plans. Uh, T-Mobile obviously has a ton of benefits with everything it's launched with carrier and the company has now decided to compete. There's the $60 plan, but now if you get the $80 or you go up to $160 for two phone lines, uh, you get unlimited everything and you do not get throttling in video quality. It's a little more expensive than what T-Mobile's offering. Again, you don't get the same benefits, but if you're on Sprint, this is probably a good deal to consider, or if you wanna move over as well. Now let's talk about Apple. We usually do not talk about launches for betas, but this is interesting. Apple is launching beta eight for iOS 10 and the rest of its operating system starting today. It launched beta seven a few days ago and then beta six. We have never seen such an aggressive push over beta updates. This definitely means that we are getting close. Whenever we, you hear us say Goldmaster Candidate, that means we're probably a week away from the final event. Stay tuned. Even though we know that the LG V20 will be the first phone running Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box, according to LG's claims, this is interesting as we've got trusted sources claiming that it won't be the first phone running Nougat to be widely available because apparently the Nexus devices are planned to launch earlier in more markets than the LG V20. And this is interesting as Nexus devices have never been widely available everywhere. And we wonder what Google is planning with these new phones. Stay tuned. Now let's go back to Apple. We have heard so many rumors about the iPhone 7 and then we also hear rumors of the iPhone in 2017. We've got another trusted source that is claiming now that that whole force touch home button that we were expecting for the iPhone 7 is apparently going to happen until the 2017 iPhone. For what reasons, we don't know. It would be awesome if Apple would implement force touch in somewhere that we actually want to use it as a, I'm one of the people that doesn't use 3D touch at all. But hey, let's see what we get with the next generation iPhone. And finally, the most interesting rumors of the day had to do with Apple, but listen to this. It usually is not about software, but the rumors claim that Apple is building a competitor to Snapchat. Just like we have Instagram stories, just like about every other company is trying to compete with Snapchat. I'm of the people that is still trying to get it. I use it <laughs> every now and then. I find it cool for certain reasons, but then again, it doesn't solve everything. But apparently Apple is working on that on a video service that uh, has messages that eventually expire, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, hey, it leads me to the question of the day. Do you feel that it would be a good idea for Apple to launch this as a separate service and compete? Or do you think that this should be part of features like FaceTime? Because in my case, I feel that if Apple enhances FaceTime or enhances iMessage to be able to do this, then great. But to have yet another app to launch, another service to, oh, oh, it's just terrible. We would love to know your opinion in the comments down below though. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you hopefully next week.